everyone. Today we are going to speak about UiPath change impact analysis for SAP. Your system is constantly changing. You want to understand which function is impacted. You want to understand where to put your focus during the testing. For this, we are going to use UiPath heat map. So we are in the heat map. We see the most commonly used functionality. We see some of the functionality has a side test case. Some of the test cases is executed correctly. And now I'm navigating to analyze transport. I have to select the proper dates. Let me select last 14 days. I'm getting a list of transports, which I would like to analyze. Let me select just a few of them. I would be able to search based on predefined criteria. So once I'm done with analytics, I'm going to analyze the transport and I see the results immediately. I see the full picture. I see exactly the same heat map. I see material management and in material management, there are three functionality which are impacted by the change, but I do not assign test case. This is a gap. In uh, sales and distribution, I see actually much more. I see that two of impacted transactions have a test case assigned. This is a fit. So it means this function is changing. I have these test cases in my regression portfolio. It's time to test. For the functionality which are effect impacted and affected, but do not have a corresponding test case, I have to create it. This is a gap. So with this, I have just analyzed my whole SAP system within a minutes. I see the number of transport, number of objects. I have a big picture. When I'm scrolling down, I will get a list of all available transactions. I'm going to select the proper one. Once more, I can search based on different filter criteria. Once I'm done, I'm creating a new test set. And with this, I'm done with the analysis. I have just push down the testing effort, I'm going to focus in my testing for functionality which is impacted and not to test at all. Thank you for watching.